And this is the Otago boys lineup. The defending champions, Muffy, McLaughlin, and Takataka in the front row. Burnside and Vial will lock the scrum. Bowl Tupo Tailoa, the captain in the number eight jersey, a very damaging, destructive player there. Dines on the open side. Booth and Hurley in the halves. Wallace and Finau Jr. in the centres for Otago boys. And Dungy Falau, he can't wear the 11 today because he's too big for it. He's in the 26 jumper alongside him, Morrison and more. We spoke about how good Tupo Tailoa is. Here he is here, just so strong when carrying the ball into contact. Good leg drive and equally as good on defense as well. You can see his ability to tuck the ball into one hand and then transition it, get the left hand Finn going. Just so incredibly strong. And it's so good to see young players like this coming through the ranks. And we're so blessed with fantastic loose boards across New Zealand secondary school rugby. Here's Ford in Auckland, Samisi Tupo Tailoa. Highland is under 18s, and his favourite player, a really damaging one too, Hoskins Satutu. Well, those out here today are keen, I tell you what, Taylor, given these conditions. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the teams adapt to this. What I'm expecting is for it to be really nice and tight, short passes, keeping the ball in the forwards. I definitely think it's going to be a forwards game today, but equally, We'll see how good the backs can do in these weather conditions. Well, Kings High School beats St. Kevin's in round one of the competition this year. 41 points to 13. And in round two against an improving John McGlashan side, they won that one 36 points to 24. And for them, it doesn't get much bigger than this. Otago Boys High School, a replay of last year's final. And, yeah, sure, it might be cold, it might be wet, but there'll be plenty of fire and desire in this Kings High School team. And here they come, Otago Boys High School. Very proud first 15, defending champions in this part of the country. And led by their captain, Samisi Tupo Tailoa. Plenty of history at this school, proud school, 1863 established. And they had a big win in round one over Dunstan, 66 points to nil. Wearing their pink socks today, Otago boys, taking a stand against bullying. And now time for the challenges. Hey! <laughs> 
challenge from the captain leading the haka for kings Mahonri Olva'a. and the crowd really starting to make some noise now it's time for otago boys turn Well, in Dunedin schoolboy rugby, it doesn't get much bigger than this. And we're about to see a replay of last year's decider. Well, there's nothing more special than this in New Zealand secondary school rugby. Just the passion across the board. Doesn't matter what nationality you are, you give it everything. Here are a couple of Samoan and Tongan words thrown in, in those huckers as well. So fantastic to see and look they've laid down the challenge and we know it's going to be a good one yeah, Sam Adam the referee this afternoon William Day and Edgar Patterson his assistants and Gaia Mahu Tariki is our ball deliverer this afternoon so it'll be Finn Hurley for Otago boys to get round three of the Premier Schools competition underway. And Hurley, ball control crucial this afternoon. It's loose, but it is with Kings High School. Step one. And it's an early possession for the visitors. And for Sita, who plays it off to Doing up by football, but Otago boys win the early penalty. Big pats on the back for Ronan Dines. Holding on was the call. And the error actually started Isolated from the kickoff. It wasn't taken cleanly, and it gave Otago boys a chance just to contest and kind of try and disrupt that rut. And eventually, Otago have decided early to go for the post. And it's a smart decision, too, with this weather. You can see here, taking the ball into contact strong. And it does exactly what a good seven does. Ronan Dites gets over the ball. It's 
So an early opportunity for Finn Hurley. And uh, I'd say if they get the chance, Taylor, these will be the order of the day. With conditions like this, you've got to take points when they're on offer. And that's exactly what Otago boys are doing now. Hurley strikes no. it. And it's away for Finn Hurley. And plenty of support here at Littlebourne Park today Back for the defending yeah. champs. Plenty of noise on the sidelines. Uh, this is a talented King side, Dylan Pledger. One of them just year 11 at their school. No hands! No hands! You're on the body, not the ball. And so Otago boys through both. No way to this outstanding player, Samisi Kupo. They lure. Kings try and hold him up, but the tackle made. So now both are stepping beautifully. Hopuare Fina Jr. The ball is there with Morrison. Up in the line from fullback. Now both looking for some low numbers. Let's get some pattern into their game here. Again, Hurley, oh, player flew up to make the tackle, but he shifts it to Hopawari Finau Jr. And here they go through Bowell. And now it's Tangi Falou. The left winger wearing the 26 jersey this afternoon. Now Tupo Tailoa takes a couple of players to bring him to ground. Kings try and get over it through Tuhinga Vaitupu, but still there now for Finn Hurley. He shifts it on, another great step. Hopawari Finau Jr. Short side play was on, but they decide to go open through Noah Muffy. No Tupo Tailoa waits, but Hurley has it short side. And making a good tackle there, Ben Paku. Ten metres out here, Otago boys through Moana Takataka. Cruz Wallace waits. They thought about the inside pass, but the second five eight takes on the line. Strong here, Cruz Wallace. OB no six out. Was. Both has Hurley away to his left. Hurley fires it on an intercept. It's on here for Kings. What's the pace like? The pace is outstanding from Dylan Pledger. And he's in. Absolutely against the run of play, Dylan Pledger. Otago boys have strung together 13 phases, fantastic hands, but it was Dylan Pledger and he had to make that intercept because they had numbers out to the left at Otago boys. It was a three on two. He went for the gamble and it paid off. Fantastic. Well, you can see here, initial run came from the number 12, Cruz Wallace, and it actually led to an overlap out to the left. You can see it was three on two. And he went for that ball and he had to get it because it would have been try time for Otago boys. Fantastic timing from Pledger. What a try to open up the match. That standing pace from this young man, as we said, just year 11. And it was on here for Finn Hurley and Okusi Tino Tangi Falau down the left. But Dylan Pledger had other ideas. Born in Gisborne, first year in the Kings High School, first 15. And with that pace... No wonder he was an age-grade New Zealand touch player. In fact, MVP at the National Touch Tournament last year. And that is an outstanding try for Kings to get them on the board at Littlebourne Park. Difficult kick as well. The wind is swirling. The rain going in every which direction. And he's quite far out to the side too. Pledger, 23, 24 out on the angle. What's it like? Oh, just off the posts. As he looked to swing it round, convert his own try. But it is Kings High School on the board first here at Otago Boys. They lead them five points to nil. Thanks, mate. Early once more, a good take in the end by Mahonru Ova, the captain of Kings High School. And now this one's gone Kingsway this time. Over here. The player was offside. Yeah, you heard the referee scream out no, and he still offside. went for it. So 
penalised oh, yeah. and they'll kick the touch here and try and play some territory because as we have alluded to, the weather here is not the best. But in saying that, Otago boys did really well to string along 13 phases, no drop balls, playing an expansive game. So the skill level here has been on point. Okay. Just hold the ball for two sets. Three. Yeah, well, just boys. the one game for Otago boys so far this season. And you guys a comfortable one, too. 66 0 over get. Dunstan. That's on you, not me. They uh, certainly a real and acid knuckle. test today against Kings High School. Oh, and yeah, Vaintina to throw in, the number eight for Kings. Oh, and up they go, and it's there for Fosita. Now they look for a midfield part ball to ground from Steve Salalia. Offside. In fact, the player was offside, so I target offside. boys now and have a chance to press for some territory. Well, it was a difficult pass, wasn't it? Good line out, but it was up over his head, and as we said, it's wet. Just couldn't bring the ball down. And then the player who was in front of him picked the ball up, and that's offside. So the target boys now with the line out. Yeah. Alex McLaughlin for Obese. Where do they go here? They go to the front. Tidy take. And the mall is set off the run and Dines take. And this will be an early test for Kings High School. Otago boys mall. It worked so well last year. And the ball is there for both. And now, big Okusi Tino Tangi Falao off his no wing. Oh, both a bit of pressure at ruck time. And Kings High School making some good tackles on defence. Tohinga Vaitupu. And therefore, McLaughlin straight into the Kings defence. And up inside, they're 22. Now it's Tupu Tailoa. Couple of numbers on the blind side here for OBs. And that's the way they go. A good tackle. Nemet Vial, and now Hurley puts a little kick through, Finn Hurley! Oh, brilliant try! Otago boys hit back, and it's their magician in the 10 jumper, Finn Hurley. That's just fantastic individual effort. Brilliant skill set from Hurley. We saw Pledger score, and now the other first five reckons I can do one better, Finn Hurley. Just a chip and chase. Look at this. He saw that there was no one at the back there. Decided to have a go himself. And the bounce of the rugby ball just ended up being perfect for him. <laughs> it's not always the case, but that bounced perfectly. Well, I can tell you what. When we turned up to Otago boys this morning, we weren't expecting chip and chases. Uh, that is an exemplary one by Finn Hurley. Played at fullback in last year's final at Forsyth Bar. Talented player, part of the Highlanders under 18 setup. And made the move to Otago Boys. Through it goes. Hurley converts his own try. And look, this is the great thing about first 15 rugby. You know, the weather is terrible. You don't expect to see chip and chases, but. It's just the confidence that these kids have. They've got nothing to lose, and that's what we love about First 15 Rugby. They're just willing to have a go, and that's exactly what Hurley did, and that is why we love this game. Pledger hasn't gone far enough. Flag goes up. So a mistake from scrum. Kings off the restart, and Otago boys will have a chance to flex at scrum time Who's here. going to vote it to here, boys? It's the first scrum of the game and we highlighted how good Steve Salilea has been yeah remember what we talked about stability and owning your own balance the referee okay? has talked Please about stability and it's going to be difficult it's be, it'll be slippery underfoot interesting setup from Otago boys they've got four out to the left two out to the right uneven split in the midfield scrum but this is very hard to defend coach fine you can see there Already an overlap out to the left hand side. Sit! Oh, pressure coming at scrum time, Kings High School. Balls out. Dupo just manages to get it to Booth and a little kick in behind the Kings defence, and that's worked out nicely for Otago boys. Well, 
Good result in the end, Taylor. Plenty of heat from Kings at scrum time. Well, they've fired a warning shot, haven't they, Kings High School? That front row of Salilea Kaloi and Alva'a. Dangerous, very dangerous. So if I was Otago boys, I'll be wanting to avoid as many scrums as I can today. Boys, here's a mark. Let's move down. Well, nice shot of Japan in that King's front row. Combined weight of 378 kilos. And that's the line out like here. They go to oh, Davis. Good take in the end, Jay Davis. Oh, big, strong carry. Trying to get out there. Here's their number one, Salilia. Oh, just can't hold on, Pledger. As he looked to make the clearance. And Otago boys letting him know about it. Two things from that. Well, how big is the contact in this match? And secondly, it was an unfortunate Boys. pass. It was down low for him. You can see here, very low. Boys. Had to drop to his knee and just couldn't quite handle it. So, prime attacking opportunity here for Otago Boys High School. Just shy of that five metre line. You can see everyone stepped out to the left, bar one. There's one on the right hand side. Huge blind to work with an eight nine play. We should see them score. Coach. But they've got to win the scrum battle first, and we saw how good Kings High Fine. are in the front row. Far side, we're pre-engaged. Yeah. It's on our balance, let's have a gap, yeah? yeah? <laughs> Look at that, Otago side is standing quite flat as well, but huge blind side out to the right. Two very experienced packs, just one year, 12 player. Amongst uh, the Coach. scrum there, and that is Orlando Tuhinga Waitupu Boy. for Kings. So sit. familiar with each other's set piece as it goes in from both. Yeah. And they do go through Tupo Tailoa on the charge. Samisi Tupo Tailoa. Yeah. He's almost unstoppable. That's what you want from your number eight off the back of a scrum really hard position to defend from as well you've got all your forwards in the scrum it's up to the backs and the flankers to get off in time but so much power running through those legs of Tupo Tailor you can see it here just picks up the ball has a go has a couple of backs to beat and almost held up but it's just the momentum rolling him over and the conversion also is good so Otago boys and the lead. Oh, two key players for Otago boys stepping up. Taylor called it. Both ran the blind side play and off the back came Samisi Tupo Tailoa. And I mentioned him in the build up. That is how damaging he can be. Better this time from Dylan Pledger. Yeah, good take. And Difficult conditions. Otago boys at both. Oh, set some runners up. Good Tackle defense. Mahonri Olva'a for Kings. Boys, high move. Hurley in the pocket. Take it back. Board stop. Now on. And the chases come from Otago boys, but sent into midfield for Pledger. A little bit of space. And they can't get past Hopuare Fina Jr. For Sita. Oh, put down by the captain. Mahonri Alva'a. Now, you've got to admire the enterprise, but challenging conditions to play rugby. There's been no shortage of contact in this match, that's for sure. Lots of big hits coming through. But again, just another low pass, and probably Kings will probably look to bring it in tighter, just shorter passes. Make it easier just to get some more confidence in taking the ball up. Coach! Boy! Well, coming up to almost the first quarter gone. It's 80 20 possession territory in favour of Otago boys, but another good scrum, Kings. And they revert again. Off the back is Tupotai Lua. Great gain line for OBs. And they've got the penalty advantage. Kings offside. Uh, Hurley looks for the kick option on. again. Over to the swing of Tangi Falau. Oh, just can't reel it in. Oh, Kusitino, Tangi Falau. But they'll come back for a penalty. 
Well, Kings High School will be feeling a little bit aggrieved. They've had two very powerful scrums. Number one, timing. And nothing has been called in their favour. And now they find themselves on the other end of a penalty, being offside. So, so far not being rewarded for their scrum dominance. What a real show of intent here for Hurley and Otago boys opting for the corner. Watching them all. Watch right, watch right. 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 Referee says play on. And so, oh, Muffy now the loose head. Stay. Six out here, play Otago on, boys. Oh, both thought about passing to Hurley, but the halfback went himself. And all he found was no. oh, big blue, blue body, bodies ball, of King's fellas. High School. Nice oh, building nicely oh, here, yeah. Otago boys. McLaughlin with the ball. Kings High School organised on defence. And now Cruz Wallace. No, 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 no. made by Elis Sara. They go again. Good goal line defence. Kings, Hurley. Bit of space. Lovely flying tackle. Up smartly was Kreft. And they've got a turnover here. Knock on and then 13's offside. Well, initially, good goal line defence from Kings. And then uh, pressing up was Kreft. Knock on, offside. Great read in defence from Kreft there, and almost a little bit of justice too, because the Otago forwards just came in flying from the side to clean up the previous rut. So Kings High School now get the chance to clear. And they do just exactly that. Here comes a big tackle from Kreft. Read it perfectly. It was initially a knock-on. And then the 13 who picked up the ball was in front. So it turned into a penalty. Boys, made the mark for you. Behind Gina for Kings. Oh, great turn over there. Otago boys, ball loose. Ah, the referee. It's come off two's hand and it's touched with someone in front. Lock on. Towards it, like the way of Kings. Yeah, good call from the referee. One of the Kings high school players had tapped it backwards, and an Otago player who was loitering at the back picked the ball up. So they'll march themselves down a little bit further. Kings high school, they want to fix it up there. The initial turnover came. At the line out, you'll see here the money jumper. It's the front jumper for Otago Boys High. Managed to clip it, and you can see Six. there someone touched it, then Thank picked you. it up. So Kings Highs will get another chance to get that line out right. Now they go toward the back, Kings, and they do manage to reel that one in. And now Pledger spice some space. Flying up was both. Play on and just the inside leg. Otago Play boys on. half here. Now for Sita driven back. Wallace makes the tackle with McLaughlin. And now Paku ordering the troops. Now flying up. Otago boys offside. In fact, off their feet, Otago boys. Now Kings down the left here. Not advantage, yeah, boys. Super, making a nuisance of himself. There's a couple of advantages there. Got one here, one, one was on for offside and one was for off their feet. So Otago yeah. boys will need to tidy so yeah, that up. Offside against their 13 discipline right. and then seven off his feet. You can yeah. see there the referee offside. just repeating those two infringements. So again, they'll kick for the corner and Kings High School, they're slowly marching themselves up the field, aren't they, Jeff? Just getting penalty after penalty, slowly working their way up getting plenty of line-out practice. Well, they've shown 
20 minutes into this game that they've got the forwards to work with Kings High School, that's for sure. Here's a mark, let's adjust to it, please. As Taylor says, if they can get some reward here. Step down. And just slow this momentum from Otago boys. Best players for Kings in the first couple of rounds. Nehemiah Vangina throws in and could take Davis again. Nine, Bale. Thank you. Big Steve Salalia. He runs into Fupo of Ailoa. It's just there for Kings. Another penalty advantage in Na Tuhinga Vaituku. Had the tackle Burnside. And some nice low tackling here from Otago boys. That time Cruz Wallace. Now it's Koloi, the hooker. Poseta looks away to the left. Pledger brought him out the pass, but took the line on instead. No hands! And Tupo. In fact, it's Bowl tries to get over the ball, and now yeah. Henri Ova'a. But no advantage coming. Roll. Well, half the team is pointing to the post without the captain even saying it, so I think I know what they want to do. And as we've been saying, it's good to take the points when they're on offer. And the call finally came, and Pleasure will no have a water. go. But no water. Some strong running and tackling from both sides. Really willing in this match as well. We saw them lay down the challenge with the Haka. And the initial penalty was for being stuck in there. And it was smart from the Kings High School players, not allowing him to roll and forcing the penalty. So now Pleasure will have a shot at the three. Dylan Pledger, plenty of noise at Otago boys, but he's on target. So Dylan Pledger converts the penalty goal, and Kings High School peg a few back, 14 points to eight, they trail now. Well, the rain is eased here at Littlebourne Park. Hurley gets us underway once more. And he could take Mahonru Olwa'a. And Fasita. And feeds Koloi, the hooker. Taken back inside. Back to Pledger. Taken back. Blue stop! Blue stop! And what's this kick like? Oh, just too far. Too far from Pledger. So another costly mistake. Well, will it cost them points here? I don't think he struck that how he was supposed to because he, he had plenty of time. He said it was taken back. But the wind, as we alluded to before, is pretty swirly. So just carrying it out over the right hand. How many steps, so please? Otago voice the with the line out. So the front could scrap for the ball loose. And lost forward from Otago boys. Good contest up in the air. It's good to see them putting the fight up, so Kings High getting their one jumper up. Usually that's a money ball for both teams, and the reason why Kings were able to disrupt that was because the Kings High School jumper was in front of the Boys, Otago jumper, so yet. they got up at the same time, and Kings just able to disrupt it and knock it out of the Otago players' hands, so still not out of jail yet. Well, there's Ryan Kreft, the grandson of one test all black, John Kreft, a very talented player, Otago age grade. Coach! Five! Six! Nine, stay there. The Kings look for an exit. Oh, big staunch defence. Finn Hurley involved in there. Stay, Along stay. with Cruz Wallace's second five, back to Pledger once on. more. Stop board. And a wonky old kick into touch. Just outside their 22. Just use the same mark from before, boys. Yep. Oh, great to see the support boys. here for both of these schools. If we're going to set numbers, and lucky we enough to be in the numbers, we can't be running at, in and out. Yeah? Little Vaughan Park. Four set. We'll be happy to have a bit of cover this afternoon. Tempo two. Tempo. 
McLaughlin down to Burnside at the back. Ball loose on the ground, and now Hurley gets the pass off to Tupor Bailoa again. Staunch D Kings knock back the big number eight. Now both Hurley looks for some space in behind Dylan Pledger. Yeah, it's going to go too far. I've said it multiple times already, but the contact in this match is just outstanding. Both players on attack and defence just not giving an inch. It's a, it's a bit of a pride thing, isn't it, Jeff? You'd think maybe they played the final last year, these two sides. <laughs> There'll be a lot of feeling in those tackles from Kings as well as the run, especially for the boys who went down in the final 33 points to 19 last year at Forsyth Bar. Coach! Fine! A few Vuvu around the Six. park here. I thought they were banned. Maybe there's a cache of them here at Otago Boys High School. Now, if I say, oh, I just can't hold on. Trying to take that was uh, Zach Renoff in the number 14 jersey. It's knock on by nine. But knock on against Ashton Booth. It's knock on by nine in the pass. Well, there's Zach Renoff for Kings, distant cousin Coach. of Steve Renoff, the Pearl, 183 games Five. for the Broncos. Uh, Sit. Origin player for Queensland, so there you go. Runs in the family, and now for Sita in the midfield for Kings. Through Play on Paku. North Dex. Play on North Trying to make the tackle was more. No 30, no 30. Off his wing, told to leave it, Otago boys. So there once more for Kings. And again, more staunch defence. Not many get past Samisi Tupo Tailoa. And again, trying to find space down the left route. Elisada. You ever won the contest, then you played it on the ground. Quite clearly off his feet there, doing a bit of a somersault while trying to go for it. He doesn't agree with the call, but it was right in front of the referee. So... Kings High will kick for touch. And at the moment, it's just a little bit of to and fro, isn't it, Jeff? See, just both teams not really executing well enough. And you can see here, left foot step, and then jumps, dives over. And he was on his forearms to start with as well, so wasn't really on his feet. Well, Kings won't mind this. Just bringing Otago boys into a bit of an arm wrestle. And I'll back their set piece. Thank you, and I do manage to reel it in. Oh, Davis again. And I'm all set here Thank you. under the One arm of Nemea Ryan Gina. They've got the advantage. Otago boys offside. And they march inside the defending champions 22. Now, Salilio oh, just losing it forward. But they had the penalty advantage. So, if he wants it, Dylan Pledger. Offside. And try and peg three Light more back for Kings. And you've joined them all. The call against Nor Muffy. The mall Number one. had just formed. Line out wasn't completed. It was yeah, still I... in line and he joined the mall, so that's illegal. And again, Kings high kick for touch and a couple more metres closer to the line. It's just getting a bit repetitive, isn't it, Jeff? Well, this is a statement. It could be a real statement if they can. Muscle that were over for five here. To the back they go, and Michael Flanagan, the open side, takes it this time loose, but there for Posita, and now Paku. And he steps his way around. Thangi for low, and now Kings High School search for another try. Oh, staunch defense, Thangi for low on Falelia. Now recycle still now for Sita. Oh, big chop tackle again. And in fact, Sam Adam yeah. has seen something here and a penalty the way of Kings. Time off. Look, that's a grass cut tackle. You're not allowed to do that. Just diving at someone's feet. 
This is our warning for foul play, okay? Oh, Clearly a grass cut by oh, nine. No oh. arms, attacking the legs. Next one goes, simple as that. Have a word. It's not often I've seen a warning for foul play. Usually you, it's a foul play, therefore you go off the field. So interesting call from the referee there. Scrum. But he identified Scrum that it was indeed a grass cut and it's very dangerous. Something that we need to eliminate from the game. Because as you can see, the player lands awkwardly. You see that just straight, straight onto his face. Dangerous play. So I think Otago was quite lucky to still have 15 players on the field. That's Fina Jr. flying up on Matai Koloi. Coach! Five metre scrum. Very, very difficult to defend. Six! And we know how strong that scrum is from Kings High, too. Use the ball! There it is for Kings. And it's in the hands of Davis now for Sita. Pops it away to Paku. Not making the tackle was Morrison. But space and numbers here for Kings. No OBs get the penalty. They've got the whole school behind them. And the man getting the pats. Number seven on the board. Jonathan Burnside. Now, in fact, it's Ronan Dines. Yep, you can see Ronan Dines so smart. You can see when we get to the replay after this kick, he just put his arms up and shows the referee that he's, he's not the tackle. Look at this. The player's been tackled. He puts his arms up, says, look, I'm not the tackler, and just goes straight onto the ball. What a great... Great technique from Dines. Well, that is copybook from Ronan Dines, the year 13 student. Highlanders under 18, supporting his own body weight. Clear picture, as they say, for Sam Adam. So a chance to exit through McLaughlin to the front they go, and Dines takes it. Oh, big contact once more. And again, Bungi Falau being used off his wing a bit. The man who couldn't fit the 11 jumper. And now oh. Hurley Thank you. sends this one inside King's half. Oh, and some big contact and the advantage the way of Kings, Kings Nemec Vial. I think he was slipping into that one. Mark here anyway, for Just like. Nine penalties against Otago boys compared to Kings High School sport. And it's a bit of ill discipline. Penalty Clearly dived on someone. Ground on the ball so Kings will kick for touch again they really need to capitalize with this newfound territory we played most of the half on the other end of the field so Kings starting to come back into this game a bit more just need to start executing oh, territory seconds. positions leveled up in the last 13 minutes now 50 50 in position OB still with a slight advantage in territory. Ivankina, oh, another good take, Davis. Off a seat at a pledger. And away to Kraft. Trying to hold him up is Cruz Wallace, but to ground goes the centre. And screaming for this is Kualoi, the big hooker. And he runs it as in good defence from Otago boys. Oh, some good metres here for Kings High School. Final for Sita again. Papai Koloi. Lost now. Looking open, but they go short side. And Paku. Little shimmy. He's made a few tackles today. The 13 for Otago Boys. Finau Jr. A ball lost again. Kings High School. As they look to make inroads. That's the seventh handling error for Kings High School today. First, second. And the weather does play a factor but at the end of the day there have been some pretty loose carries Martin's when side. taking it into contact so a little bit yeah, of relief for Otago Boys High School only 30 seconds left in this half they'll want to boot it out as soon as they get the ball being down this end of the field here the Kings High School they've got a very good scrum so if they can turn the ball over here Try. coach Boys. so a good clearance needed for Otago Boys Six. And they can take a breather with the 14 points to eight leagues and more heat coming from Kings, but it screws round and here is Semisi Tupo Bailoa. Good tackle in the end, Flanagan, but still there for Otago boys and Dines. And they win a penalty, Kings. Well, maybe a bit cute there. Otago boys just needed to retain possession and kick it out.
Uh, chance here, and Dylan Pledger will have a crack. I love again how four or five of them were pointing to the post before the captain or Pledger had even had any say because they know how valuable getting some points is, especially because the half is up. Yeah, last one. You can see here getting over the ball. Yep, good Just technique the from the front rower. Anyone. The captain as well, Mahonri Alba'a. You can see pointing to the post. Let's go get those points. Well, they'll be delighted with this, Kings, if Pedja can knock this over from 38 out. Over it goes, Dylan Pledger. And Kings do pick it back. 14 points to 11. And they, Otago boys leading here at halftime. Yeah, just wait for the whistle. Well, he claims Captain. he was head boy, Will Michael John. We'll have Ready? to check that. <laughs> Statistic. As uh, Dylan Pledger. Gets us underway here in the second half at Otago Boys. And a clean exit. And not a bad result for OPs. Well, no changes at half time for either side. Oh, rain has still continued to pour, though. A little, it's resulted to a drizzle at the moment. But Kings High with the throw in at line out time. Ivan Kina. There you go. Oh, Otago boys can test well. Good take. And Booth puts the kick downfield. And it's there with Joe Ingram. This talented left winger for Kings. He puts the kick through. And now Booth fires away in the midfield. And Samisi Tupo Otailua. A good tackle. And Paku. And they've got a penalty here, Otago boys. Boys clearly a rock. Kings High School really unlucky not to get a free kick <laughs> down the other end of the field at the line-out time because Otago threw someone up early and you're not allowed to do that before the ball's been thrown in. But nevertheless, Otago with the penalty and you can see how muddy it is at the moment in the middle of that field there. Boys, how many set? Six. Six, boys. Well, Craig Cumming is the sports director here at Otago Boys, and he has to deal with the cricket pitch there. And, oh, that's not straight. Outside up. Option. Captain. Scrum line out. I need it from But there's so much movement Scrum line out. from the OBs in that line out. Scrum. And when they threw the ball in, probably just couldn't get his bearings right because they had gone in so quickly. So, scrum time for Kings. And their back line all stacked out to the left, no one on the blind side. Boys, stability. Winger with the glorious, glorious mullet, Zach Renouf, <laughs> behind Boy. the first five. Oh, glorious. That is outstanding, Zach Renouf. Well, he might have got some tips on the hairstyles from his distant Boys, cousin Steve Reynolds, who, as we said in the first half, the Pearl, the great Bronco. So Reynolds is behind Pledger there. So Coach. they could go inside to Five. knock all out, out to the left, where they've got the entire back line stacked up. Six. Plenty of options. Nine holes. Good scrum, Kings High School for Sita. Now way to pledge it, and he looks for the kick. And it's not a bad one, too, from Dylan Pledger. And puts Otago boys through Morrison under a bit of pressure. And good take, Nemec Vile, the fullback, tries to weave his way around this Otago boys defence. Now for Sita, sees a short side play on through Paku. And they try and get over the ball through Finau and Dines, oh, but the referee, Sam Adam, awards the penalty the way at Kings, and this could be another Second three day. back here and level things up. He said leave it twice, and he still went for the ball. 
And it's so hard not to go for it when you see it right there, especially when everyone's been cleaned out already. If you're going for touch, you don't need to tell me, yeah? Oh, shot of intent here for Kings. And Tom Pledger gives them the line-up inside this Otago Boys 22. Bit of movement in the back line. Do they keep it tight here, Kings? In the back they go, overthrown and with. Well, Target boys try and get it, but snapped up by Davis for Kings. And driving forward. Now for Sita, looks away to his right. He goes through. Salelia. Now you're on the body, not the ball. Options for the halfback. Now Ova'a, the captain. Mahonri Ova'a, just a few out. Yeah, thank you. Davis tries to get low in the tackle. And they drive him back through Finn Hurley. And they've got an advantage here. Offside against Otago boys. And for Cedar looks to take it quickly. But let's see if they point to the post. They'll be doing it all game. Captain. Yeah, he's going for the scrum here. And it's not a bad decision because they've still got... 30 minutes, it's just a math set, 30 minutes left in the game really early on and they actually got a little bit of momentum behind them as well. I was quite surprised that they didn't try and pick and go when they got so close to the line, they decided to spread it. If they had just used their big boys and picked and go towards the, the line, they probably could have got there in the end, but they've got a five metre scrum and this is probably the hardest thing to defend in the game of 15s, five metres out. They've got two players out to the right hand side on the blind, four out to the left, plenty of options, eight, nine either way, or even the eight off the back of the scrum. We know how strong we will run it near Vainuna is, so plenty of options. Fine! Oh, great blind to work with here for Kings, as Taylor said. <laughs> you too, free engage. And for Otago boys, a new man on the park, Patelo Amato. First job for him today, in for Noah Muffet. It's Mark, we go back from it, don't we? Great to have you with us here on Sky Sport, live and exclusive. First 15 rugby right around the country. And it really has been a wonderful start to the season. Of course, all the disruptions from last year. And COVID Coach. playing havoc with competitions right across New Zealand. But Boy. as far as it goes down in this part of New Sit. Zealand, and the battle between these two schools doesn't get much bigger. Fosita looks blind. Stepping the McVile of Hurley. Short. Makes the no tackle. Try. And they win the penalty, oh, OBs. Fantastic work on defence. Clearly and short. And they're off the hook. Again. Oh, it was the scrum, wasn't it? The ball came flying out the back. They probably needed to keep it in, and it just caught their halfback unaware. He had to quickly go to one side. Decided to go to the right. See it come flying out. And just some good footwork there. And then, what? Oh, I don't think that's a double movement. He landed and he's entitled to extend his just take arm. A step, please, but that was a call from the referee. Ten, please. And it goes. Oh, Dines but tries to take it. On the and they've got the advantage here. Advantage, one outside. The contact at line out time. Otago boys. No. And some good pressure once more at ruck time for Kings, but. Behind my foot. Sam Adam was playing at the advantage. Contact in the air on the jumper and offside. Uh, it's just these moments in these games, Taylor, these tight games, especially in these conditions. Judge, uh, Targo boys will breathe a sigh of relief. Get the free uh, ride out of their own half here. You can see Sumisi Tupo Taylor slow to get up there, clutching his left shoulder. So if he was to come off the park, would not be good for the OBs. Lines in the middle. Well, there he is, Niall Gregg on the left of your screen from Northern Ireland. You might have noticed the accent in the huddle at the start of the second half here. And in the moment, not much in it between these two schools. And up goes Bowell. But it's been lost forward. So just a bit of accuracy. 
We know how explosive some of the players in these teams can be, and as Taylor said, keeping an eye on Samisi Tupo Bailoa. You can see they're getting up nicely and then yep, dropping it. He actually hit it against his own leg and it just lodged it out of his arm. So now Kings High School with the scrum feed. And once again, they've decided to stack everyone out to the left and put no one on the blind. Coach. Went off behind Pledger Five. again. Last time they did this, we saw Pledger Six. kick for the corner. It was a good kick as well. So will he do the same thing or try something else? And the gaze for Sita. It is there with Pledger. And again, the kick through. Touched by Otago boys. Nate Morrison away to Hurley. Finn Hurley beats the defence. Finn Hurley. Oh, just into touch. But Finn Hurley, as he did in the first half, just showing his ability to spark something. Yeah, he got on the outside on of his defender, didn't he? Just that left foot step, change of direction, and it, it is very slippery. Did very well. And then the halfback just taking him out. Vino Fosita. Short line out, Kings. Namia Vangina throwing today in the number eight jersey. And the back they go, the tip there by Elisara. It's gone backwards, but Otago boys pile through. And there for both. And now Amato, the new man on the park in the 16 jersey. And Dines sets back off open side. Does the open side and the tackle coming from Kings. And both looks for Hurley. And again, another little stab kick by the first 5'8". Yeah, it's worked out nicely. And a little bit off the ball there. What does the referee say? Yeah, nothing in that. But just in the last minute or so, Finn Hurley starting to take charge of it. Yeah, fantastic kick there. And that's a pretty unnecessary play. But Four set, boys. Good field One. position Four here set. for Otago boys. It's not their throw in, but they're going to compete and get up. Boys, you're late to see it. I'm going to give them time to adjust. Yeah? Four in. So just like during the week, they've got to get their numbers right here, get some counting going on on the field. So four apiece is what the referee has called. Davis again, the target. But it's with Otago, boys. And Miguelli. They all... They try and hold him up, Kings. Otago boys join them all. Sam Adam has a close look, but it's held up. Interesting call that. He said it was a maul. Does that count as a collapsed maul? Did they fall turnover or is it held up? Interesting. Listen there, you can see. Gets a drive on. At this stage, the referee calls a maul. They take it to ground. And in my opinion, that's a, that's a turnover. But very, very difficult spot now for Kings High School to defend from. They've got three players out to that short line on the left, only again, three yeah. to the right. We're already off balance, both teams. Let's go again. So <laughs> a chainsaw without a blade. <laughs> there is a chainsaw <laughs> here at Otago Boys. I'm not sure. Let's go how that works with health and safety. It's not Brendan Laney, but there's no blade. There's no blade. There you go. Dad's Husqvarna taking it out of the shed. He probably needs it this afternoon, clearing up the garden. Nice day for it. But he didn't ask mum and dad if he could take it either. Six. He'll be in trouble. And so too could Kings here. Tupo Tailua off the back. Just trying to shift it through Morrison. No, no. They're five out now. The defending champions. And he reckons he's got it. Samisi Tupo Bailoa. You're happy that he's in play? I'm happy with Brownie. Try awarded. And how big is that for Otago boys? Oh, we'll see here if that was the right call. 
looks like he wasn't. It might have been Sumisi Tupok Tailor going in for a second. Ooh, it's a tough one. That is a close one, of course, without the benefit of the TMO and first 15 rugby. But Sam Adam had a chat with his ARs, Will Day and Edgar Patterson. And uh, Samisi Tupo Tailoa gets his second try of the afternoon. Well, the chainsaw will go off here if Finn Hurley can slot this. Oh, just off the posts. But Otago boys now with the 19 points Substitute. to 11 lead over Kings. Yeah, there's a substitution happening as well. Yeah. Can you Ale Tupai coming on to the field for Kings High School. And he's replacing the winger. Joe Ingram. And really throughout this game, there's just been a constant drizzle that has off. not let up this weather. And also Viola <laughs> Palu <laughs> on the park for Joe Ingram. A couple Tyler, of changes. 11 and 14 have gone. Time on. When you're ready. Still plenty of time for Kings and Dylan Pledger. As he gets us underway once more. Inside! Right, stop! And Hurley again. Not much pressure for the exit. And he looks a bit ginger there around that right leg, does Finn Hurley. And of course, you might be wondering what these pink socks are today that Otago boys are wearing. Standing against bullying. Of course, International Pink Shirt Day. So Otago boys, the students, showing their support. And uh, taking a stand against bullying around schools. Yeah. 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 again, more pressure from Otago boys, but the line out there and through it, Salilia. New Zealand Secondary School's Barbarians last year. Big player for this King side, so is their captain, Mahonri Olva'a. Not committing too many at ruck time here, Kings. Now they look for the recycle through Vayangina, past Davis. Yeah, good run no, away. for Kings. Just trying Use. to make some inroads if they can inside this OB's 22. Pledger opts for the kick again. It's there for Nemec Vial. Now for Sita to Koloi. No two. Oh, good hands in the end from Olva. No Being used a bit on the carry. These front row forwards for Kings and now Salelia. Oh, oh, shifting it on, staunch defence. Coming in there from OB's. Oh, Davis. He tries to get around. Petelo Amato. And just outside this OB's 22. Patient build up, 11th phase for Kings. And now they're inside the 22. Our oh, ball lost again. In fact, the referee is playing the advantage. Ronan Dines, I think it was, not rolling. So is this their chance, Taylor? Well, the boys with the low numbers on their backs Seven. have been doing a mountain of work but you got on the ball for Kings High. They'll out. be He's exhausted. So hands on hips, a couple <laughs> bent over hands on knees as well. So, five-metre line-out. That, that position quickly. stat has really, really evened out. As we said earlier, Otago Boys high, dominating territory, also even too. So, we've got a good contest in our hands. And then Mia Vainga in the back they go once more. And here they come, Kings. Salelia just out from the line. Fosita, and they go off the back of this ruck. Koloi trying to drive them back was Vial. Still there for Kings. The ball's down. And the referee. Shut up. 
says it's held up. Well, I think Kings might be unlucky there. I can't hear. I reckon oh, Orlando Tuhinga Vaitupu got that down, Taylor. Oh, I think he did Come as on. well. Yeah. He's gone. Now we got the trend yeah. of every time we're under pressure, we're yeah. giving away a penalty. He's got time off, but yeah. he's... You sort it, or I will. Yeah, Simple as that. Yeah. Not Come checking on. the grounding with his AR. He's actually just talking to Otago boys and saying they need to tidy up. And that's right, they're penalties. 13 conceded. So... Too many penalties in one match. Let's go, please. White, scrum. So they'll get one more chance. You can see here, ball on the ground. Yeah, I think Offside. it's the first angle that call. we saw it mm. from uh, Tohinga Vaitupu. Just here. And just here, take a look at this. There. Yeah. Find back on. So they'll get another shot here. Five metres out. Lions lost his head. Boy! Can Kings keep theirs here? They know how well the scrum has worked. And uh, Hooker's Sam good. Adam has given the Otago boys the warning. Okay. 14 penalties to seven we'll just start for a kick against we'll OBs. And a try here to Kings would make this game very interesting indeed as the rain starts to fall a little bit heavier at Littlebourne Park. Coach! And I don't know whether Jackets are a school issue here because uh, they're not minding the rain, are they? Both of these schools. Fosita. There it is with Davis. He's got Fosita outside him. Davis, oh, he tried to go himself. And the ball lost forward. Well, uh, Jay Davis slipped that to Finau for Sita. He could have been in in the corner. Oh, it was a try gone begging, wasn't it? He did so well Boys, to we evade that. that many defenders, just getting rid of them incredibly well. And if he just popped it there, probably would have been a try. But good defense from Otago Boys High School. Big scrum, big scrum. Cable, cable. Crouch. Fine. King's looking for the big Six. shove. OB's just need a steady platform for the clearance. And who better than this man, Samisi Tupo Tailoa. So hard to bring to ground the number eight. Counter good. Counter good. And there's the good counter up from Kings. Fantastic work. Oh, he's over the ball too. And OB's, just as I thought Kings had blown through for possession. They come up with a big play inside their own 22. Otago Boys High School, the opportunity to clear here. We get it. And the ball isn't out. Not out. Fledger takes it. And so Kings, a chance to counter-attack through Nemec Vile. Dangerous on his feet, Sam Nemec Vile. Pass off to Paku. No. And Kings. Great counter-attacking play. And for Sita. Play on. Ball still with them. And Koloi. As no, OB's trying to get over the ball again. Oh, big contact. Big, big contact. Salelia and Okositino Tangi Falao. Massive. Well, those new mouth guards that the boys are wearing today will come in handy. And Jay Davis now. Chance to make amends. The six inside this OB's 22. And juggling it there for Tai Koloi again. Just looking to keep it patient. The captain, a oh, good tackle. Ball will round the bootlaces. The Kings have the advantage. Now, Salelia again. Another tackle from Bowell, but still there's good. The referee was playing the advantage Two. after nine phases. Well, the Tiger boys are already on a warning for penalties okay. down this end of the field. And that's what the captain from Kings High has just asked for as well. He said, 
Is that a card? Referee said no. We'll take because they look at this. <laughs> just has to get off me. Job. But in the Otago Boys High School defenders. So 13, 12 minutes. Uh, in his defense, sorry. It's really hard when you're coming across the body. But wow. Some big contact, contact in this match. The man being bumped off there Boys, was, no of course, Dino Tangi yep. Falao in the 26 jersey. Now he's wearing that because he couldn't fit the number 11 shirt that he was supposed to wear. So that is some contact. And now Kings will go for the points through Pledger. Big kick, Dylan Pledger. He nails it. Now all of a sudden, it's a five point game here at Otago Boys. Well, they needed something for That's their dominance at the moment down that end of the field. So as you said, only a five point game still plenty of time left 17 minutes or so time back on Curly with the restart a bounce not kind for kings high school and the flag is up 30 up Again, position now in favour of Kings High School. And the time in the opposition 22 really increased the Kings height. Oh, Bees. Run the line out possession, and it is there Balls for out, both. Uh, Bitello Amato running it forward. And Kings trying to get over the ball. Hurley trying to shift bodies at ruck time. And loose Play at the on. back there for Ashton Booth and Flanagan and co drive through on him. Steals good. Steals uh, great good. steal there. Jake Davis, I think it was. It is too. For Kings High School. Massive steal. Who wants this? It's Ryan Kraft. And again, Hurley coming up smartly on defense. For Seta. To his low numbers. Ova. Five release. And edging their way inside Obese Half. Good hands there. Davis wants more. And trying to get his hands on the ball is Fina Jr. Told to leave it, so for Sita. Now one of these new men on the park, Jaden Panesi. And the ball loose. But it will be possession, yeah, Kings. Stripped in the air was the court. And look at this. It's a hucker off going on. Kings high. And then Otago Boys on the other end doing the hucker too. Stripped forward. Oh, God. Great to see the passion of both of these schools. This means so much, so much in the regular season to get the scalp and really get bragging rights. There's the chainsaw again. We've had a hucker off, and now the chainsaw is back. I wonder how much fuel he's got. I wonder if Kings High brought any power tools. Well, they've got a few power tools in this team here, and Pledger tries to run into some space. Kraft stepping beautifully. A good tackle booth in the end to bring him down. Oh, Kings High School trying to play with tempo in these challenging conditions. 40 metres out from the OP's line through Tuhinga Vaitupu. Pledger. Sends up the bomb and chasing through a couple of players. Oh, there's contact there. And the referee's whistle goes. Hurley's on the deck. And it's a penalty the way of Kings, so. What do they do here? Just here. Number seven, seatbelt tackle over the shoulder. Captain. What do you want to do? Shot called. Oh, shot called. No, you've already made a decision. I think he didn't actually want the shot. Look at that. Twice the amount of penalties Otago Boys High School over Kings. They were given a warning, but nothing's really come from it. 
So Kings High School with an opportunity to bring that deficit down to two. for Dylan Pledger, strikes it sweetly, and he gets it. Two-point game here in Dunedin. Seven minutes to play, still plenty of time, two-point game. This is gonna go right down to the wire. Six white, six. Some more subs coming for Otago boys. On the park is Cody Campbell in the 18 jersey. Jacob Bolwell, the blindside flanker, taking a breather. Hurley, once more, too far. Scrum four. They talk about big moments in games like this. Yeah, it's a big mistake for Finn Hurley, but can Kings capitalise? Well, they've had a change in the front row. Boys, still seven minutes. So, new hooker seven on minutes. the field for Kings High School. But I'm not going to answer that question every you single can play. See, yeah, packing down for the scrum. Fergus Hepburn. But it's been a big shift from Salalea and Olvaa <laughs> on either side of him. So good to see how stable the scrum is with a couple of changes on the field now. Five. Six. Good scrum, Kings, stable for Sita. Goes down the right here through Nemec Vile. He's looked dangerous today from fullback. And broken play. Now, Penisi has a big contact once more. Play on. Oh, Vial in there. Play on. It's been trying to disrupt for Otago boys. Now, Saleh Lea. Good clean out at ruck time. For Sita looks left, decides to go one off to. Panissi again. Tackle roll eight. Just inside Stay. Otago boys half. They're looking for something to try and snatch the lead. Counter arcs fine. Gotta clear it. Play on. Final for Sita, so he does the half back. And he'll play half back here. It'll be big Jaden Panissi. Well, had the right idea, Alex McLaughlin, but told to leave it. Now, Davis, been solid today on the blind side for Kings High School. A little bit careful there, Ashton Booth, but away for Kings again. Panessi, another touch for the 18. Advantage. Ten faces, there's the advantage. To hang up, Vaitupu. Now they could chance their arm here if they like Kings. Pledger shifting it away to Nemec Vile, puts the kick through. And Hurley loses it. Advantage over. Blind and out. the referee says advantage over. So Kings will have a line out inside Otago Boys 22. There's the captain there, Mahonri Obaa. He was sheepish getting up off the ground after initial rut, and he's coming to the sideline. Yeah. And he's had a fantastic match, his Alva, that whole not entire yeah. front row Boys, for Kings have been working just tirelessly, not who's even just at scrum time, but ben, carrying the ball up and on defence. But it's not someone you want to lose in a key moment out. like this. So the referees just explained they've got a scrum or line out because it was knocked on into touch. And they've decided to go for the scrum, which is smart. However, they've just lost Mahomri Alva. So now it's up to Fully Joseph Elisida. Boy, subs back to halfway. To stand up and push for his side. <laughs> Talk about a pressure cooker situation. Yes, well, the deputy head boy off the park minutes, and the yeah. captain, Alva'a. A real test for this Kings High School bench. But they're at the right end of the park. Cool. Yeah. Boy! Sit! For Sita. And we'll go again, says Sam Adam. Oh, 
Boys, pass the forward. Everyone stacked up to the left. Again, Boys, not really much of a reset. blind to work with. You can see them all standing quite deep. And it's going to come right down to the wire. Three minutes left. The midfield combination there of Paco and Kreft who've worked hard this entire match. Sit! Posita. Stable. Just needs to clear. He does. Pledger. Pledger. Taking a ground. And there for Otago boys. Turnover's good. A slight error. Cruz Wallace picks it up. And oh, Dylan Pledger. Tried to crack the gap. Boys, we're just going to move it this way. Away and Jars lost here. it forward. That's testament to the defence from Otago Boys High School. They rushed up on him. He had plenty of options. He decided just to go on his own. And it was his opposite, Finn Hurley, who just disrupted it enough to cause the knock-on. So a couple minutes left to play Let's here. Go, going on. Otago really need to hold on. I told you I'm not going to tell you every single phase. I just told you two minutes. Absolutely gorgeous conditions to play rugby in here in Dunedin as the rain starts to come down. Time back on. Crouch. But all on Otago boys here. Five. Got to find some sort of an accurate exit. And we know Six. how good this King's scrum has been. They need a big one here. There comes a shove. Out. It's off the back through Thupo Thailoa. Look at him go, Sinisi Thupo Thailoa. Morrison not held. does well, not held. Aaron Morrison, and he marches up towards halfway. Both puts a kick in behind. And there's the kick from Nemec Vile. And that's not a bad one, too. Gives this side a chance, Sam Nemec Vile. I'll tell you when. Can't help but think but Sorry, that they really need to get up <laughs> at this line out and force a turn over here. And equally, Otago Boys High School, they need to secure this ball and hold, hold on to it for a minute. Lads, we haven't had this standard all day. You make the mark, step down. Step down. Here's the mark. Yeah? Step down. Alex McLaughlin. No! Ball, ball. And it goes. Dines takes it. Big take. Ronan Dines. Where's that ball gone? Oh, it's on the side of Kings. Can you believe it? White's taking it to ground. Knock on. They still have another chance. Final play of the game. Coming up here. Time off. Scrum feed for Kings. Last play. Last play. They're in the right half of the field, but the weather has started to really bucket down right now. So <laughs> it's got to go right down to the wire, Jim. Oh, this is what schoolboy rugby is all about. These moments and these traditional rivalries. The defending champions of the Otago Premier Comp, Otago Boys, looking to hold on. Sit! For Sita. There it is for the halfback. Now Pledger. Paku to ground. Ben Paku told to leave it for Sita again. Kings High School. Look to keep it tight. Now Salelia. Cosita Pinesi. Jaden Pinesi trying to drive Shots him back as Cruz Wallace. Ball loose or no. That'll be it. And that is the game. Otago boys. And a replay of last year's final have beaten Kings. 19 points to 17.